they're all coming out at once. Initial jobless claims up 5,245,000. 5,245,000. And continuing claims rocketing up to 11,976,000. I'll repeat that. 11,976,000. Now let's go to housing starts. Uh, they are down uh, over 20% at 1.216 million seasonally adjusted annualized units. And if you look at what's going on with the permit side, they're down almost 7% at 1,353,000, uh, so 1.353 million. And, uh, of course, both of those numbers are actually in the neighborhood of expectations. Actually, permits were a little more than expected and starts were a little bit less than expected. Let's put a face on this, shall we? If you look at January starts at 1.624 million and permits at 1.55 million, Becky, both those numbers were the best in 13 years. To give you an idea that we are coming down, but many other numbers, of course, have come down much harder. And finally, Philly. And the reason Philly's interesting is this is an April read, um, and actually, I just don't have it out yet. Don't see it on my system. So I'm going to do a push on Philly. Uh, what are interest rates doing? We're at 61 basis points on a 10-year, uh, about where it was. It was at 60 basis points. Some history there. 54 basis points is our all-time low-yield close. And on 30-year bonds at 123 right now, 99 basis points, the all-time low-yield close. And you can see how far away we are. Here's an oddity. If you look at boon yields, you know, their all-time yield close was around minus 85. They're hovering around minus 44. They're further away from their all-time low uh, closes uh, than we are. Granted, they're in negative territory, but it does describe a bit of a different scenario uh, with regard to Europe and, of course, their central bank uh, in a much different situation than ours.